Hello, it's good to be here with you once again. It's a very wonderful weekend as usual. The program Beyond the Headlines reaching you from the stables of Liberty Television, Voice for All and Vision for All. The name is Abdel Aziz Abed Kadari. Thank you for being back. Well, last week we were talking about the 77 Nigerians whose name were released by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, that is a FBI in the United States for cybercrime other related uh, uh, activities. Uh, since the release of that uh, list, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC, seems to have actually uh, gotten uh, its groove back, if you want to see it that way. The FCC seems to have actually developed a teeth overnight that it can bite. There is a kind of a rekindled or renewed war on cybercrime by the Economic and Financial Crimes EFCC. So, I mean, is EFCC, has EFCC been waiting for the FBI to actually do its job for you? Uh, EFCC is now telling us that they are even going into partnership to investigate. Just yesterday, uh, another hardened criminal that has been on the list, but very ev evasive even, uh, uh, on the list of the FBI, was arrested yesterday by the uh, EFCC. So, on Beyond the Headlines this evening, we shall be looking at the EFCC rekindled cybercrime war. Uh, following the FBI uh, list. What has changed? Well, you remember, even a sitting governor tweeted on his Twitter handle that the safest road in Nigeria is the Kaduna Abuja Highway. Uh, I don't know if you will agree with me. But if you're in Abuja, just take a walk to Idu train station or the uh, Kubua train station. If you are in Kaduna, take a walk to the Rigasa train station. You will know how very secure the Kaduna Abuja Road is. Uh, if you go to the, if you, I mean, you go to any of the train stations, you will see people who are even brought in a motorcade, what in our local parlance we call convoy, with their security details, everything, coming to join the train to Abuja. Why? Because they are avoiding the Kaduna Abuja Highway. And you ask yourself, with their own retinue of security details, with the arms and ammunition, these people are avoid, avoiding the Kaduna Abuja Highway. Why are they avo avoiding the Kaduna Abuja Highway, you will ask, if it is that secured? Well, the Kaduna Abuja Highway is in the news again for the wrong reason. Kidnapping. Kidnapping of, I mean, you, you get to hear about the kidnapping even sometimes when it has to do with people who could actually shout out to actually say, our people have been kidnapped. There are people being kidnapped without even the media, without even getting the publicity it needs. But then, another addition to read, a member of Kaduna State House of Assembly, representing Zaria, Suleiman Dabo, was kidnapped between Kaduna and Zaria Road. You just, you just could imagine. A report said he was kidnapped very close to Kadavara Way. I mean, this is Kaduna Abuja, Kaduna Zaria, I would say, a drive of 35, 40 minutes. That before now, some of us take the pleasure of just taking your car, drive to Zaria, and drive back to Kaduna. Then if Kaduna, Zaria Road, uh, kidnappers are also rearing their ugly heads, uh, with the military, from, military formations in between, uh, then, uh, well, let me leave that for the discussant. Something is definitely uh, not right. So, resurgence of kidnapping along Kaduna, Abuja Kaduna, Zaria Highway is another issue we shall be looking uh, into. Well, uh, I think probably if you've been following Liberty Television and Radio, it was all reported here. The uh, Reverend Father Tanko, who was actually abducted, killed in his car, and the vehicle set ablaze with his dead body in it, in Taku, in uh, uh, Taraba State. Well, the, 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 what's the, what is it called? The Wadume story is yet to die down, and we are getting that of the Reverend Father. Now, the crisis, and we're meant to understand this Reverend Father was on his way to that where he was heading to to find a lasting solution to the Tib Jukun crisis. So, the changing dimension of the Tib Jukun crisis is another issue we shall be looking at this evening. Again, the name remains Abdel Aziz Ahmed Kadam. Let's take a quick break and we come back. 
My colleagues will be here and we shall be talking those issues. Don't go away. Jennifer, I get fresh for wine for you. No, Mama Rosie, I go out. Show. Jemba, come play down to now. Are they come? Are they come? You don't come and be the go. Jemba, Jemba. No wonder when I the greet you, no great answer me well. You no get generator now. How does your television come the work? I get solar panel for my roof when they collect some, turn them to electricity, can transfer them to this box so you they see so. Now in the power everything, even safe. Now me fix everything from up to down. You know how that all. This one a gemballistic. I they tell you. Um, let you tell me more. Okay for darkness, Ross, go arrange your own start time solar home system. Make yourself follow Enjoy Digital Life. All right, thank you for being there. Once again, the program is Beyond the Headlines. On this program, we say it as it is beyond the headlines you read on the newspapers, what you hear over the radio, what you watch on the television, or even on the social media. I said my guest will be here, my colleagues will be here. All right, the seated from my immediate right is uh, Kabiru. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Sagir Kazu Sali. Thank you, uh, Thank you, it's good to have you here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ms. Uh, Sinjir is a, a head of television and a head of content. And I will I say, will be staff of a British Broadcasting Corporation. <laughs> to, to be. Well, nice, uh, I'm sure you've been hearing, uh, you know, the day of uh, Aousa Day, I wanted to bring some people here to do some things. Uh, but I didn't have the opportunity, so I let it be. Uh, but today, he won't be speaking Aousa, he'll be speaking English. <laughs> you have a... Uh, Malam Dahiru Ahmed. Dahiru is uh, our head of a uh, station, uh, Liberty 103.3 FM. Can do that. Dahiru, good to have you here with us. 103.1. 103 103.1. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Did I say something else? Uh, one point is probably oh, trying, to, point three, trying to add. Uh, 103.3 is Abuja. Yes, exactly. Uh, 103.1. Uh, 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 yes. Well, mm. um, basically, let me, let me start with you. 
we saw when last week we, we discussed that on this platform, the release of the 77 Nigerians yes. uh, who were, I mean, arrested by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, for cybercrime related uh, offenses. Offenses. Yes. Uh, it seems as if ESCC was actually waiting for that list to come out. All of a sudden, we are having a renewed uh, 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 cybercrime war by the EFCC. I mean, do you think that ginger them all? Or, I mean, the EFCC went to bed waiting for the FBI list. Uh, a lot of issues of uh, 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 pertaining to this FBI list, list of this Nigerians, 77 Nigerians alleged to be uh, cyber fraudsters, as they are called. But the question you always ask, why are we more active when a report comes from any internationally recognized organization, when a report comes, we come out to either take credit for being part of that discovery or, you know, uh, uh, apprehension or in disregarding such reports. We've had so many instances where reports by the Amnesty International, UNICEF and the rest of them are said to be, you know, far from being the truth of the matter. But as far as this is concerned, there are a lot of issues. And one is the fact that uh, why now? Why now? Why now? If, if the EFCC has said that it has been part of this investigation, why would it have waited for the FBI to have released this list? And another thing is, we are worried about this, but are these guys convicted? Okay, they, they are suspects. They, are, they remain suspects. suspects. They remain suspects. But we're, so we, we need to tow uh, to an extent with caution not to, you know, surrender their rights as, you know, uh, innocent until proven otherwise by the courts of law. However, this tells you that uh, the, the fight against corruption, as the EFCC is doing, has overwhelmed the agency. Okay. To an extent that it has to seek assistance from internationally recognized organizations, say the FBI, the CIA, and the rest of them. But... The thing is, is the EFCC going to arrest these guys or are they going to investigate before the well, well, hand people, them over to the, uh, to people, the people, FBI? People, this people this is another say, thing. I mean, concerning the FBI list, people will say, unlike what we do here, a media trial, sometimes just an alleged, uh, uh, um, I mean, uh, just allegation, you pick somebody up, you pick somebody up, Pick it, take him out yes, there, suspect. do all the sort of drama or whatever you think that he's just a suspect. But in the case of the FBI, people will say they've gone into a deep investigation. But but if we are at Blasi, still as still at that, yeah. FBI is not yet you know a prosecuting agency. I mean, it's yeah. not a, you know a legal institution. I mean, uh, it's not a court it's of a law. Court of law. Mm -hmm. So it, this these guys they remain suspects. Suspect. The fact remains that. Uh, the, 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 the cyber crime, the uh, Yahoo Yahoo boys or Yahoo boys uh, as, as they, we call, them, as we call them in this part of the country tells you that it is a lucrative business. Yes. If you sum up the amount these guys are accused of, yeah. you know, defrauding individuals across the shores of Nigeria, it tells you how lucrative it has become. Now, before the EFCC talks about being part of this investigation, investigation and, and this release of this list, mm -hmm which in some cases are said to have been revised or reviewed, how far has the FCC gone in you tackling the home-based Yahoo boys? Oh, what? That, 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 that will let me come to you. Mm. I mean, it seems as if we were surprised. Yeah, I mean, FBI released 77 names. After then, the FCC gave us more than 100 names mm. of those that they've discovered, they've investigated, and what have you. And all this while, it was like, the FCC went to bed. Mm. I mean, just today we are hearing of FBI, EFCC mm. stuff, we were in Yahoo Boys. Yahoo Boys. Mm. Again, I mean, to build on what uh, Asagiro said, I mean, we won't complain about that. Even our president won't talk to the local media. But when <laughs> the foreign media goes, sometimes mm. when they travel out, that's when they make policy statements. Why should the FCC wait until the FBI made this list public before start telling mm. us what they've been doing in cyber crime? Okay. Even the 30 the suspects or the raid whatsoever yeah, in yeah, Owe 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 and uh, what do you call it in uh, Kwara State, Lawrence, exactly. Lawrence. Is it the FBI list? If it's out of the FBI, FBI list, list. Yeah. now the EFCC 
Why should they wait until the FBI bring all these issues? Yeah. And then now, it looks what you call, it demanded the assistance of FBI to go to Quara <laughs> and apprehend <laughs> them. This is an the international guy. issue. Exactly. A national issue. Why is it no. so? No, no, now, no, what we are saying is that the FCC, even the FCC, I think there must be something and need to be on earth. Okay. Yes. One of the issues that I think they are short staffed, one, okay. and there are what you call a contradiction between. The, uh, you know, the, 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 the entire security, security agency. agency. Exactly. Okay. That is why, yes, the FCC. Because we, a, a lot of issues, we have had a lot of issues, and we have many times that between the uh, DSS and the FCC, yeah. if they are what you call a contra con contradictory uh, yeah. statement, statement from there. On that. How are we going to look at this issue? And how is it true that, yes, this 30 that were now that, 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 that are apprehended, yeah. is it from the EFCC? Is it not so so the EFCC? 44 yeah. left. So yes. Okay. Now, Ablazis, in addition to what the hero has said, you need to, look, to ask this question. These guys are suspects. The list is already in the public, the public domain. domain. All over the world. So they should wait for the FBI and the EFCC to come and apprehend them? This is one. I thought in, 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 in such a situation, we would have been hearing that we have arrested mm. and, you know, gotten confessional statements. Yeah. These guys are cooperating. This should have been, you know, an issue between the FBI transmitting this list of 77 individuals to the EFCC, EFCC doing its own part mm -hmm. within Nigeria, thereafter for those who are to be prosecuted or to be handed over as an Interpol issue, mm -hmm. that is done between the EFCC and the FBI. But for thereafter, the story comes out to the public domain. Okay. But, but, but in this case, the moment the list was out, it's become it's something everywhere. So some of these guys, if they actually have skeleton in their cupboards, mm -hmm. they go into hiding. Mm -hmm. So most of them would have been on their own by now. Maybe because so so this, this mm -hmm. perhaps is... You know, I don't know, it's a, a propaganda or trying to take credit, uh, to actually display to the people that this is what we are doing, but it's another way of jeopardizing, you know. You, you e know yes. Because, I, I mean, this government, we all know this government came on board fighting corruption, mm. uh, revived the economy, mm. and uh, which is the top security. Security, security. security. Yeah. security. security. Mm. Mm. Uh, and this three seems to mm. be the, the issue that we are battling mm. with. Mm. Now, one will have thought with uh, the issue of anti-corruption and the way we've seen the fight that went between the Senate and uh, uh, the, the EFCC, mm. we've seen between the Senate President and the mm. EFCC and what they mm. do. One would have thought that something as simple as this Yahoo Yahoo boys, mm. because we're talking about Iwere. Mm. Now, the government reported of, uh, uh, what is it called? Yahoo yeah. Yahoo, Yahoo School mm. in yeah. Ikotu, mm. in Lagos. One would have thought that so, the school, Yahoo Yahoo And school, it wasn't discovered it wasn't all this while. Until, yet, until, until yes, exactly. Yeah, 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 until yeah. Yeah. Mm. To and come yeah. and align mm. with the EFCC mm. before they could raid this place. I mean, are we actually doing enough in anti-corruption? No, the, uh, it, 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 uh, it, 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 it is not. In addition, in addition to, to uh, if nah, people are what we are enough, looking at is that maybe it. investigation. Okay. I think that uh, EFCC lacks the investigation team properly okay. because they, they don't do what you call thorough investigation before prosecution of some cases in the court. Yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. How many convictions that the EFCC is cured right, right away? But many, uh, what do you call, prosecutions are there. Okay. But when it is there, maybe at the first court, and then maybe the, 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 the charges will, will, will be, 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 be acquitted or quashed. As, as we speak now, an aid of good luck, Jonathan, mm. was accused like, of billions of dollars. Mm. Has been acquitted. I mean, acquitted by, by, by a competent... Uh, uh, the uh, MCC uh, said he's going to appeal the, the, the judgment. Well, as far as... But now he's a free man. Yes, he as is. He is. He is. Now, now, he is. Now, he's going to claim as, damages. Yes. That is it. Mm. As we are speaking, mm. court stops the AGF, EFCC from seizing Abdelaziz Yaris uh, yes. assets. Yes, mm. property. I mean, uh, again, I'm saying coming to this, because intelligence gathering, it's, it's an issue. The bulk of EFCC staff are police officers. Mm. Now, if we cannot get intelligence right, as far as even cybercrime is concerned, which is traceable with the right equipment and what they do, could this also be the reason why kidnappers are actually everywhere and we can't even trace some of them? Uh, uh, Ablaziz Ab Ab has just gone a step mm. ahead. Mm. In, this, in mm. this whole FBI thing and these 77 guys yeah. of the thing, you see, I don't know why, not only the, the EFCC, mm -hmm. But a lot of security agencies the are fond of this, are, are, are fond of this, this, so to speak, so to say, 
media triumph. triumph. Mm. And this is what is playing in the case of these 77 guys. Mm. Uh, only God knows if these guys will be confirmed to be true Nigerians because in some quotas, mm. some are using this name. If these guys are actually Nigerians or are using the names of Nigerians Nigeria. to actually perpetrate mm. the yes, crimes they crime. well, that should, well, Isn't that should be the responsibility of the Nigerian government to say, first of all, let's profile these guys to know. Uh, is, if it was even difficult to track a telephone conversation, conversation. Mm. between a mm. kidnapper mm. and the families and of, of an ab abductee well, negotiating mm. ransom, negotiating mm. ransom mm. to the point that the ransom is being delivered and the victim released. And they go away. And the you, you, criminals disappear. That is when, when life is, is at stake. Talk more of when the property is at stake. Mm. Oh, you heard that beyond the headlines. I mean, putting uh, the issues out there, uh, a lot of questions out there and answers being provided. But definitely we need answers to it. I'm just coming out of a, I mean, a workshop that has to do with uh, reporting on national security. Sometimes you ask yourself, I mean, what is even national security in the first place? How does the government aid you even as a journalist? Sometimes you expose criminality and you become a victim of even that exposure. exposure. Sometimes again. Uh, it's rather unfortunate. Well, let's leave that. Mm -hmm. uh, Kaduna, Abuja, Kaduna, now Zaria is added now, to now read. Kaduna, <laughs> Kano. Kaduna, I hope we'll not add Zaria Kanu to read at the end of the day. Kidnapping is becoming something else. Then before yesterday, I was watching a report that Idu Philly Station, I mean, railway station, mm. the number is overwhelming. You go to, I mean, Kubwa, if you could not even get mm. ticket in Idu, that means Kubwa is out of it for place. you. You, can you go to Rigasa mm -hmm. and you see the number of I've said it before. A two-star general come with his convoy, mm -hmm. his motorcade, what in this place, in this place yes. we call convoy, yes. with security aid yes. and all the things. Yes. Sometimes you try to park your car, they push you out of the it's way because by Oga train. is coming. Mm -hmm. But Oga is going to join the same train mm -hmm. that you who went in your own private car was trying. And I asked, why can't that two-star general or one-star general Go with his motorcade mm. with all the security details mm. on Keduna Abuja Highway. Just yesterday, mm. a Keduna lawmaker, Suleiman Dabo, was kidnapped. Ah, uh, well, promptly, even his younger brother, who works with the Nigerian Port Authority, who is an aide to the managing director, actually confirmed on his Twitter handle mm. that uh, the brother was released. Now, don't ask me how much was paid mm. for that. So you it was paid. Resurgence. Well, <laughs> of the, the resurgence mm. of kidnapping. On the Abuja, Kaduna, Abuja, Kaduna, Kaduna uh, vice versa, and now extended to Kaduna Zaria, Zaria yeah. which is you know an expansion or extension of this problem. This is in addition to the fact that we have received uncountable assurances from the Kaduna State Police Command mm -hmm. that the road is it's safe. safe. We have mm -hmm. you know mounted security, security surveillance. Everywhere century if you like to mm. call it now just in this week only god knows how, many, god knows how many number of people mm. the most prominent mm. is the, the, the streets, students. you know uh, graduating students of uh, Amadou Bello University. University. Mm. The controversy around the around, uh, uh, around, yes. around the whole uh -huh. issue of kidnapping yes. and their release uh, is another thing. Mm. Police said but, they were rescued. But, they were rescued. Uh, but, 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 but the family said, said no. Uh, yeah, family said the, 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 the police the is yes. not in any way. The and, and they were released. Yeah. Now, now Ablaz, the thing is, see, kidnappers are becoming more daring. daring. Mm. Mm. Just a week ago, the motorcade of a deputy governor yeah. was... Ambushed. Was ambushed. It was said to have and been. Four people lost their life. Four people lost their life. He was even said to have been abducted. Whether that is true or otherwise, let's not go there. Mm. But now, a lawmaker. This is not the first time a public figure. You mm. remember the no. UBEC director who yeah, was also. Who is now the current in, minister of the mm. so, 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 so you get it. Mm. Now, which one the do his driver was citizen, there. citizens you know, agree with? Mm assurances from security agencies the same road you told us was secure we are on the road where is the sas what, what, where what? is the unmanned aircraft to work that were procured to provide mm. security and surveillance on the kaduna abuja, abuja. and kaduna bilnigwari road you see there are a lot of issues 
that this sometimes says are we are we serious about this or do we look at it in in such magnitude this effect that this thing has, right, has right. affected us oh, well uh, then let me come mm. to you to be fair mm. to both the federal and state government this is not the first time we're having the issue of abduction on Kaduna Abuja Highway I remember uh, the tail ends of Bakabi. No, immediately, the, immediately the number came on board as the governor of Kaduna State. Mm. A group captain was abducted and eventually killed mm. along Kaduna Abuja High Road. Mm. And that led to the formation of Operation Yaji yeah, yeah. when nobody came on board. Yeah. Again, I remember Operation Yaji. Every seven kilometers, okay. you had an Operation Yaji van. And not just stationed in one place, but they moved everywhere. within mm. that seven kilometers. Kilometer. Mm. Back and forth. to the next drive around to the other vein, come back to that, and they were doing that. I remember very well. Mm -hmm. Again, we had, those those vehicles were brand new then, under number the sample. Mm -hmm. These vehicles had communication gadgets that I can speak with Segir. Segir can communicate mm -hmm. with you mm -hmm. within the 23 local government areas. Again, I remember very well. Uh, he's late now, retired mm -hmm. Colonel Maman, mm -hmm. who was the coordinator of Operation Yaki. Um, tank, petrol tankers were actually taking fuel almost on daily basis to meet these guys at where they were stationed. Refuel the, their cars, then having 15 liters in each, I think about five or six in each of the vehicles, mm. give them again, then supply, come back the following day. We're doing this and what they do. But today what we are having is having the police stationed in one place, distance apart, without communication gadgets. Now, I know if I'm here, it's a year is there. But for them, the criminal knows there is a and, uh, at interval and it's right. Mm. Is it that we cannot revive those things, sustain them, and ensure with what we are seeing on the federal highway? Maybe if you say if you say all these things, I know that uh, the police will say no. Mm. They have uh, provided all these gadgets and they have all all it takes to ensure that maybe lives and property of people are are protected. Maybe maybe on the highway, especially from Kaduna to mm. to Abuja. Abuja. Mm. Yes, we have heard a lot of uh, 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 statements that yes, yeah, they, they, they don't. It is safe. safe. Mm. It is safe <laughs> for all to ply the, the, the road. But I don't know. Maybe there will be what you call a uh, consistent. Uh, maybe uh, what you call a uh, uh, withdrawal of yes. uh, a, 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 a police from there or from uh, security from, yes, from, from well, that, well, that road. Well, well, Maybe immediately after two days, guys, after a week, without guys, anything. These guys will strike. Say, okay, now <laughs> we're, we're, we're going to this. say this is security? I mean, a criminal always come to your house to rob, mm. and you provided certain facilities that can track the criminal. And you say, oh, are the criminal has stopped coming two days. So let me two weeks, Two weeks, mm. two no weeks. Need to let me just deal with those eh. facilities. I mean, is, that's what is happening. Is, is that, is that yes, security? and if you apply that road, mm. maybe between maybe 20, be, uh, 10 kilometer, mm. be, between a, a kilometer and 10 kilometer, 30 kilometer, you won't see a, uh, uh, what do you call a station mm. police what vehicle police there. Like yeah, you won't see it there. Maybe around weekends, uh, Saturday or also, uh, also Sunday, yeah. maybe you see them around, moving around. But the issue is that, why is it so that uh, maybe it takes them a longer period of time before you see policemen? Policeman. Yes, exactly. And these are the issues. And if you ask them, they will tell you, yes, they are there stationed. And they are there for you. When you go, you, they are, they, there is no problem. But we don't see anything like that. That, that is why some people, you said, the generals, the captain are there. Okay. They are there at the, uh, at the, yeah, at the train well, station. The uh, well, so, this, to, to protect so their, 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 their... Now, there is always this complaint of our security guys are overstretched, mm -hmm. this and that and what yes, But we remember when mm -hmm. Abuja airport was shot. Mm -hmm. yeah. For that whole period of time, mm -hmm. there's not a single, there was, there was no airport. single incident of, of kidnapping, kidnapping. On, this same, on this same road. On that road. Now, People now, deploy also road mm -hmm. safety, the Air Force, we were, we were having air surveillance, mm -hmm. the police and what they do. What is stopping us from doing the same thing now? This, you see, do you also understand it was because the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport, Airport was shut down? Then, for the VIPs were, now, had no option. It was for the VIPs visiting or leaving mm -hmm. the nation's yeah. capital. Mm -hmm. Perhaps including their personal security, maybe were involved in providing security on the Kaduna Abuja Road. Don't even forget, it took less than a, a month to construct the road from the train station, station to, to linking to the airport, yes. which is 
Something people are still surprised about. So this is so possible. So we have possible. roads taking two years to construct. Four years ago. <laughs> well, that is another <laughs> thing. Yeah. Now, about overstretching the security, guys, it is a fact. I remember coming across a report where if you see the amount being budgeted per police station yeah. for monthly funding, mm -hmm. you shed tears, you even come to appreciate the Nigerian police force. Well, the last now, time, about, the last time we did an analysis, mm. going by the budget for fuel, each police station will get five naira per day. You see, now, now, now another thing is, <laughs> is the fact that, the fact that, uh, are we still comfortable with this traditional form of provision of security? security. It mm. seems we are comfortable with it. In spite of the lapses, the shortcomings that, observed, that, that are so we are still day. okay with the traditional way of patrol van deploying these namangu walk out from one place, mm. reach the other point. And we are still exploring the utilization of. I remember Kaduna State Government had acquired these drones. Yeah. Is it not the right time to expedite? you know, approval for Kaduna State Government to, use. to actually deploy them. Where is the Nigerian Air Force? The units in Abuja and that in Kaduna and those in Zamfara. Wouldn't it be a special operation on this major highways no, because no, people no, no, are no, actually, people are hit on the highways mm. and taken into the bushes. Into the bushes. Mm. Yeah. So if if so if, if surveillance will be mounted on these highways, walk kilometers, mm. 40, 50 kilometers. Yes, yes, sometimes yes, just yes, you yes, only estimate food. you walk for mm. hours, and you probably estimate that maybe you walk for twenty kilometers in the bushes. If they are not ab uh, abducted from other camps, because there are many camps. Yeah, I, that, yes, exactly. Issue. If they are walking, maybe mm. twenty kilometers, one of the camps when you go and hijack post, them, yes, posted from exactly, one camp yes. to another. And they go. And if, you are not, and if you are not looking at the end of the day, another camp will come and hijack you and go. And you continue walking 100 kilometers. Uh, you, you know, that what surprised me this decision. Uh, I'm sure people must, you, you must have listened to the, uh, the, the voice recording mm. of uh, those kidnapped somewhere in Katina mm. and the negotiation between mm. the victim's family and the, and the, and the, uh, the ab I mean, see the way the abductee was even talking. Mm. Of course, I know the situation of things. I know some of the people that I have here cannot even eat three times in a day. Mm -hmm. I know I want to view things mm -hmm. like that. I, but then you ask yourself, with all the tracking devices these days, with the essence of, what is it called, uh, registration of SIM cards and mm -hmm. whatever, still we cannot as much as track these guys to where they are. It's I mean, this is not that we cannot track them. Can we hit them at their comfort zones? Okay. I know of incidences where the police or security agencies would move from one state to the other state just tracking a mobile phone until they get at the suspect mm. and investigation runs until it is concluded. Now, do our security operatives, the police as we are talking of, that don't even have enough patrol vans, mm. have the wherewithal to go into these bushes how much do they know the roots in the bushes? That, that's another thing. So people were, you, you, you get it. Somebody was do they have the walking tools? Somebody was suggesting having an amphibian uh, mm. uh, arm to the Nigerian army. Ni Nigerian army. We're talking about this is an internal security Security's problem. Issue. It is involve say, it should the involve the police. The mm. police should only seek maybe reinforcement yeah, from mm. the military. But to say the attract. truth, Abdulaziz, is the Nigerian police equipped well, enough? That's an issue. I, 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 I went to high in Naria because there were issues of threats mm -hmm. of uh, kidnapping mm -hmm. that. And getting to Kabala West Police mm -hmm. Station, I realized that Kabala West Police Station does not even have a single operation van to operate. And I was asking myself, mm -hmm. now if, if I shout uh -huh. kidnapper in mm -hmm. Naria, how is the police in Kabala West going to move? Not even in Naria, even cover. within the Kabala man. Even within the yeah, Kabala West. Exactly. How, do they, how do they reach there? You cannot. It's, uh, like what you have said, maybe uh, on the issue of analysis of uh, their gadgets, the equipment, yeah. whatsoever they have been provided with exactly. And you said the amount of money being budgeted for the police to discharge their duties diligently. Yeah. I, 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 I think it is not. Despite the fact that maybe they don't have uh, enough hands to do that, mm -hmm. but where is the money good? 
That's another question. How many goals? Well, well, a lot of questions. There and it's and it's cumbersome. But but uh, man, I rule. But, but, but that's the second story. That can we actually see we don't we see the kind of innovation that has gone into the Nigerian Air Force. Mm. Whether we like it or not, you give it to the to the to the chief of the air staff. Mm. The renovation of what's grounded. The upgrade. Uh, I mean, upgrading mm. of facilities. Mm. And why not, please? Why are we not seeing that? With maybe the that is why now the, what you call maybe the now it, it, it has what you call a ministry of itself. You maybe have yes, yes, maybe we, you will have seen we, the lapses we, of police. Maybe during we, these we, four years, yeah. we have seen yes, they need a lot of issues. They, 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 they demand a lot of money to, to, to uh, evict themselves. At the point we met yes. to understand, the former Inspector General of mm. Police Idris mm. and uh, the Bazo were not even on talking terms. Uh, uh, Aziz, this, perhaps these, are the, these lingering problems mm. were the reasons why these criminals are becoming more dead. More dairy. You remembered. Just in this week, kidnappers go to a settlement in Kaduna Metropolis, yeah. set up a checkpoint, abduct the number of people they want to abduct to I, their I, I, satisfaction. I, 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 actually, and I actually call it the testing of human beings and do away with that. You and, get it. And drive all the way from here to Abuja Road. <laughs> The, the first person that was released, so, was released. so the, 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 the was right thing needs pressed. to be done for the for the, for the Nigerian police. police. Well, uh, so I mean, this is an issue we must mm. keep talking because uh, they said if they come for the other person, you repeat the talk. If they come for the second person, the third person might be you. Uh, to, like I always say, if today you find yourself in position of authority and you are guarded, you are not going to be there forever. At the end of the day, you are going to leave, and that security around you will not be there. I remember when Obasanjo fell into a ditch between Alagbadu and Ota. <laughs> a, re a reverend father said in a church that, I mean, after that incident, within the next two, three months, that road was repaired. And uh, a clergy said, if it will take past leaders falling into a ditch for our roads to be constructed, mm. Let them. Will more of them fall into the ditch. <laughs> so uh, if we take kidnapping of, uh, uh, I mean, I don't want to go there, but mm. uh, I think we need to wake up from our slumber. Mm. Well, still on insecurity, Tiff Juku crisis. Mm. I remember 1999, when we came into democracy, this issue took another dimension entirely. Tiv Jukun, Moda Kike Ife, Amuleri, Imuleri, what do you call it? And what they do. As we speak today, the Moda Kike Ife seems to have been resolved. The Amuleri, Imuleri seems to have been resolved. But the Tiv Jukun crisis, again, I remember the governors between 1999 and 2007, the Yeradu the, 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 the Ami came together in Kaduna here, had a retreat for almost two weeks. I remember the current president, Buhari then, even presented a paper. And at the end of that, I still have the outcome of that. That thing died down, but all of a sudden we are having a resurgence. What could be re re responsible for the change in dimension we are seeing? You see, Ablazis, the lingering crisis between the Tiv and the Jukuns mm. in Benue and, and Taraba. Uh, Taraba State mm. sometimes you see, should have been a thing of the past. Unfortunately, we have had situations where politicians tend to capitalize on such crises for perhaps their own games. political gains. Mm. And uh, afterwards, they still come back to cry over this same problem that they have gained from. You see, there, it's not only in Taraba and Benue that there are this communal or intercommunal cla internal clashes, but why is that of Taraba, Benue, that's the chief, chief mm. Jukun, yeah. who to some are members of the same fa extended family, family, if you so to call them, mm. and their neighbors, mm. last not just neighbors. You have TVs, TVs. TVs in, in, in part of the, and you have, and and you have so enough. and uh, and this 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 problem has been on and on. You ask yourself, Taraba State is under the leadership of uh, PDP. Mm. So also Benue State. Mm. Yeah, not not APC. Not APC yeah. PDP. Mm. If you look at the issue of yeah. opposition and what mm. happened. Uh, maybe addition to that, you have Taraba. Whose governor is a is a, is a, is a Jukun man? Mm -hmm. Whose wife is a Tivo? Is a, is a, is a, so you look at this. So it's just like the Palestinian uh, Israeli Israel. uh, a, a conflict. Mm -hmm. Now, are these governments sincere about trying to bring this problem to an end? 
How many committees have been set up to find lasting solution to the problem? Uh, many. How many reports have been submitted to these governments? Mm. Which and which of these recommendations have been implemented? And, implemented. Mm. and which of them have been tried and, you know, found to be, you mm. know, unfruitful? Well, that, that, that let me come mm. to you. I mean, just today, we had the president saying mm. the traditional political leader mm. should find a lasting solution. solution to the, mm. that, I mean, should that be what we should be getting from the president, the federal government, let me say, at this time, when we should be saying the culprit, should the be. brains behind this should be fish out and be dealt with, at least name and shame, however highly placed they are. That is what we are facing, not only in uh, Benue or Taraba, yeah. and these are the issues that uh, maybe are escalating and escalating, and it, it, is good and it doesn't come to an end. The reason why is that maybe there are many uh, committees set up, mm. there are many reports, and there, okay. sometimes uh, there is white paper, and it is the, when it is there, it will be dumped, because it is not going to be used, when because the of the high place people there committee. involved, mm. and they cannot be punished for, for, for that. But I don't see reason why this is escalating, and it's persist, and it doesn't come to an end. But the, the chief and, and Jukun. Jukun. And... You know, the reason why maybe uh, President Buhari gave this uh, directive or, or, or order to ensure that maybe, uh, what do you call it, traditional leaders, they should settle. Because it is not the matter of uh, security. Police, you deploy, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, police or army, they cannot solve the problem. Because the problem is within. And if you have, if you have that uh, enmity, if you have that hate in you, even if the police maybe moves away, you continue. you continue. Now what you are going to do is that maybe they should they, they, they should come together and, and look at these issues. What are the lingering issues? Yes, the that, exactly, yes. I mean, I, 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 I found it very appalling. When weeks back, the governor of Taraba State came on the live national television mm -hmm. to say he begged his own wife and children to relocate to Nigeria from the U.S. Mm -hmm. Something happened in Abuja with mm -hmm. his house and the whole family have run back to the U.S. again. Mm. Now he doesn't know what he would tell them, how he would beg them to come back. As a governor. As a sitting governor. If we get to have a governor, number mm. one citizen, Admitting this whose family is mm. not even within the country. Mm. In fact, when they came back, they were staying in Abuja. They couldn't they come back. Go to they, they, Do you think people like that will actually care what happened to the people they are out to govern? You see, this, this is what brings political or politicization of all these problems. Mm. And this is why sometimes I wonder when the chief security officers Officer. of, of states, mm. you know, trying to mm. hang their responsibilities on the shoulders of the federal government. Mm. We have had so many instances where security issues that should have been tackled by state governments mm. with the security council mm he will start pointing accusing finger and on the federal, federal government. government. We have had situation where a sitting governor says, please excuse me of serving as the chief security the officer, officer. Uh, which also comes with a seat as the governor, mm. but he's not relinquishing that seat. He's not relinquishing even the security votes like well, let's mm. <laughs> So I, I think uh, we're not being sincere mm. as governors as far as these problems are concerned. Uh, the issue of security is paramount. If you talk of the most cardinal problem that has to be tackled before anything would move smoothly in mm. any society. It's the issue of security. Which is even the number one responsibility of any government. Because government's. without that security, no any other activity would move. Oh. Talk more of reaping the benefits of oh. Oh. whether education, why, whether why, why, why would his family flee what you call to, to, to Abuja and from Abuja to, to the U.S.? US. As a governor, as a governor. Yes. they cannot be secure, they cannot be safe. Yeah. He is state. not sure of their safety yeah. as the chief security as the chief officer of the state. state. Even in Abuja. Late in Abuja. Uh, yes. And, and he's still the governor. Now, no, 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 we, we've seen the rot that happened in eight years in Zamfara. Mm. Hundreds of lives lost, mm. thousands displaced, and what mm. things like that. Eight years, mm. we saw the voting kept retrogressing until mm. the last day. Mm. But in the last three months, mm. we saw a governor that reversed that trend as if there is a magic wand. Last week I was saying the governor of Katina should go to Zambara and ask, how are you doing this? Mm. So that we can have the same thing. Mm. It's as if he had what we said. Mm. Dave Voice today had a meeting, had a meeting yes. with mm. regional leaders, yes. security chiefs, now saying let him reach out mm. to sure. the bandits. Mm. From what we've seen in Zambara, could we actually say our problem still lies in government houses? Hey, perhaps. <laughs> perhaps because it is, it is now a visible thing for everybody to know. Yeah. Well, you know, 
in just very uh, a months. short period of time. Yes, yeah, yeah. and he has. Uh, I know. I, I, you know, he sat down. He sat down with what you call even the 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 the, 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 the bandits, the and they leaders. were given time to say all these things. Maybe, maybe uh, there are many camps that are, that are there, yeah. and they are daring, and they came to the go, 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 government house because they, they were given assurance. There is nothing going and to happen they, they to you. They were not betrayed. Yes, exactly. And they came and they surrendered everything. And they said, yes, if this thing is going, if you want this thing to, so to stop, this is what we want. Yeah, they, and, and, and he yeah. agreed. So, those, and they those, said, so, so by, from what we are seeing in Zamfara, mm. it means people in government houses mm. know these criminals, know their hideouts, and can actually reach out to them and bring them to the round table. Ah, you, you said he's a, a, a governor, a chief security officer, officer of the state. state. Every morning he has what you call a security, security report. report. Yes, you know he must know everything. If he says he doesn't know anything, he's not supposed to be a governor. Ablaziz, political will mm. is okay. It's what we are seeing in Zamfara. Okay. Mm. Lack of it is it's the same thing we are witnessing presence. somewhere yeah. other than Zamfara. Mm. You see, we have had situations where things are happening about spokes people coming out to, to, to disregard, to tell you to please disregard this such and such. Where in some situations, eyewitnesses have given their own eyewitness account, account. but mm. deny it. In fact, sometimes victims themselves. Victims themselves them crying mm. out. But somebody in government is saying, no, that is not true. Well, why do you have to report this? See, Ablasis, if really governors... Mm have to invite Bello Motowale, perhaps as a resource person, at their next, next, you know, meeting for the northern governors or northwestern governors, West. especially on those states yeah. where the issue of banditry is happening. Mm. Please, maybe they could invite him to come and give them the tips and secrets what as to how to do it. Because mm. Zamfara, which is closest to... Uh, Kassana, I mean, which is closest to... It's as bandits. if mm. everything has transferred from Zamfara to Kassana. into Kassana. Mm. And it was only Safana and a few other local governments. But it's, it's, it is expanding, expanding. And let's not forget, this problem actually started from Katu Roslin. Yeah. And Kassana State was one of the most worst hit, the worst hit states about this issue of Katu Roslin. Mm. We appreciated the efforts Masari made that time to bring to an end the issue of Katu Roslin. Mm. What is stopping him? you know, to move From a step this, ahead, yes. you know, a step further to say, okay, I know these guys, I know what I did, now, but tell me, my friend, come, let's talk about this. How do you do it? Because the problem keeps expanding. It keeps expanding. You see, look at the Northwest, critically. You only say, only Jigawa State. Yeah. Only yeah, Jigawa State affected. is not affected with Relative this. Although we have had, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, Relatively mm, 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 mm. only only Jigawa we had only one incident where it was you know an RNG mm. form of kidnapping, yeah, kidnapping. where mm. you know yeah. somebody did that in order to mm. extort money from family and relations. But Kano, which was said to be you know safe when we had mm. the, yeah. the 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 Singam guy. Mm. Now after Singam, we started seeing of. Kano becoming the hideout of yeah. Yeah. abductors. Mm. So the, 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 the district of was Daura, Daura. was re yeah. released. Was it was, you know, was freed in Kano. Wadume yes, escaped exactly. to Kano yes. and was arrested in so Kano. Kano Why Kano? Hiding no. hiding see, see, the problem mm. is this mm. is a pointer. Mm. Kano needs to sit up yeah. immediately. Before mm. people make it, criminals make it now mm. the headquarter of uh, hideouts for criminals. It'll be safe, safe haven for, well, safe <laughs> for, criminals. for criminals. You had the issues there. Uh, ours is to speak and would not keep quiet because uh, we are the conscience of the society. We are the mouthpiece of the society. We are the eyes of the society. We are the voice of the voiceless. But as it is, the common man seems to be made more common because his life is not his life and property is not being protected by somebody who is paid to actually do that. Somebody who actually begged to be given the job to do that is not doing that. And uh, God forbid. We are paying the price. We pray the, the situation will be reversed. This evening on the program, Beyond the Headlines, Segeru Kanu Sali. thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Abelazis. When, uh, uh, when we say Kanu, I just... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Dahiru, Amen. Yeah. Thank you so much for thank inviting so much. me. Thank All you. Right. I'm grateful.
There you are. Thank you for investing your time with us. On Tuesday, my colleague, Shefiu Suleiman, will be here on the program where we shall be talking on other issues. God willing, next week, same station, same time, we shall be doing the same thing. I am Abdul Aziz Ahmed Kader. Have a nice day ahead. Thank you.